and welcome to Who It Could Have Been, where every week we take a look at a famous actor or actress who's up for a big role, but for one reason or another, they didn't quite get it. Would they been better, worse, or just plain inconsequential? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Inconsequential? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of like that time, kind of like that time Demos auditioned to be the guy that Butch killed in the ring in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> that would have been inconsequential. Boom. That's what I was going for. What do you think of Pulp Fiction? What are some of the images that jump through your head? For me, I have to start off, you kind of ruin things for me. Now when I think of Pulp Fiction, I think of your pervy old man, family guy, Reinterpretation. You ever read the Bible, Brett? I have this passage memorized. Ezekiel 25, 17. No, I'm not doing the whole thing. Kiss my ass. <laughs> he's, well, he's very talented, folks. He's actually sung Man Out of View from Mulan in that voice. And it was... I've had people requesting I that for their about, ringtone. I forgot about that crap. I mean... I, I know we did the toes to toes thing, but I forgot that that was an outfit. I, I I'm not kidding. People have actually reached out to me and asked for that section to be the ringtone. You singing Man Out of View in the Family Guy old man voice. What the fireball? <laughs> I mean, sorry. What the fireball? What? what you know, you? the moment we hit a thousand subscribers, that's going to be that's going to be our gift to people. You, you know, I'll have to play that clip. At some point here, coming up on our Patreon, Demos is going to make that. If you pledge so much, you'll get Kyle. <laughs> How could I make a man out of you and get lots of popsicles? <laughs> but when you think of uh, Pulp Fiction, what are some of the images that jump in your mind? I think the probably the most famous is the Pulp magazine use of Uma Thurman for the, the film's poster. Her look and that particular character has become iconic and synonymous with Pulp Fiction. For me, it's copious and excellent use of the word mother fireball. You're going to have to bleep it anyway, so. There are going to be a lot of Mickey Mouse fireballs in this particular episode. <laughs> Mickey fireball. <laughs> Listen, I'm a mushroom cloud laying Mickey fireball. Mickey fireball. <laughs> Does he look like a fireball? No! The very least, that's going to be an outtake. Anyways. No, I'm just going to keep that in. Um, <laughs> but I have to ask, I mean, Uma Thurman really, really nailed it with that, with, with that character. But I'm kind of curious. Could you see uh -oh. somebody like, I don't know, Jennifer Aniston playing oh, Mia Wallace? Get the, the, get the, what kind of crazy Mickey Fireball are you? No, no. She no. was she was actually considered. No. no, that's a bad Tarantino. No, she was actually considered for the role. Although we I haven't seen how close that she got to it, but the biggest issue would have been a scheduling conflict with uh, some TV show that she was on that ran for a few years. This uh oh. God. Rachel, don't be dancing at Jack Rabbit Slims, bitch. You can't confuse the Central Perk for Jack Rabbit Slims. You ain't ever going to get some dope ass stuff that makes you OD at the Central Perk, even though you would think that's more appropriate to get there. <laughs> but can you see her trading out her bangs for that haircut? I no! Mean, exactly. Mia Wallace has kind of a dangerous, sultry demeanor about her, which as much as I do love Jennifer Aniston, a lot of the stuff that she's done. She's a fellow Greek, so I have to. <laughs> right there with John Stamos and Telly Savalas. Anyway. No, listen. First of all, what do you kind of come up with next? Dave Schwimmer as Vincent Vega? Get the f*** out of my face with it. No. John Stamos as Vincent Vega. Have mercy. First of all, you completely ruined this bit by coming up with a legitimate example, you son of a bitch. No. What's the... No. Matt LeBlanc as Butch. Yeah. Tobacco. No, wait, I got it. Phoebe as as Lance's wife, who who has all the stuff in her face with the piercings. I actually believe that one, but <laughs> her name's not Phoebe. It's Lisa, Lisa Kudrow before somebody freaking. <laughs> oh, God, actually, you know what? The more I think about that, that does land. I'd actually buy 
Lisa Kudrow playing Mia more than I would Jennifer Aniston in a strange yeah, way. I mean, I'm not talking about Mia. I'm talking. I know about- you're not, but I'm just I'm just going back to Mia. I can actually see Lisa Kudrow doing a better job of that than Jennifer Her Aniston. Face is a better fit. You're right, but no. <laughs> you know, oddly enough, I'm gonna throw in a double for you because there's another TV actress that was considered for Mia what? Wallace. Why are we having this conversation? You're just throwing up. You're, you're throwing softballs for me to crush. Julia Louis Dreyfus, who was also busy doing some other long running show. At the yeah, moment. great, great, great. And Kramer is Marcellus Wallace. Oh gosh, can't stop now. You goofy Mickey. dude on all you Seinfeld goofy. spoof of Pulp Fiction. I would have I would have been in line. Actually, we can have Jason Alexander playing Butch. No, I would put him at the Marcellus Wallace position. Actually, no, he would replace Jules, and he would actually have hair. Newman would be Marcellus Wallace. How do you, what do you think of Julie Louis Dreyfus as Mia? No, <laughs> but better or worse than Jennifer Aniston? Better slightly. At least her hair is dark enough. She's she's very talented as well. I mean, both are, but she could pull off drama. She could pull off comedy extremely well, obviously. Right. Um, and she That's- has the right look. She's probably a little too short for John Travolta. What I like the most is if you've observed her either as Elaine or uh, as her role starring in in Veep. That snark could carry over pretty well to Mia Wallace. I agree. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. I, I could see I could see her pulling it off, but once again, she's missing that sultry, dangerous ambiance that exuded so perfectly from Uma Thurman. I'm not prepared to even say pull it off. I'm saying there's some there there. There's a chance for a miss. You're you've contended, although in based on some of your diction, although not using this exactly, um, that Uma Thurman was all but born for that. Move! I wouldn't go that far. She pulls it off so very, very well. And like I said, her her look and demeanor have become iconic from that film. I mean, she's the only thing on that damn poster. You see how many names are on that poster? You know how many extra tickets they probably could have sold if they had, if they plastered Christopher Walken, Bruce Willis, and John Travolta's face on that poster? But they went with Uma Thurman. She helped sell that film. And she's a vital connective tissue to many of the storylines within that film. It's very difficult for me to imagine somebody else in that role. But I think we're in agreement, though, overall, that Uma Thurman is the better, it ranked uh, is and was the better choice. Oh, you mean Uma Thurman, right? I thought we were agreeing on Newman. My bad. <laughs> Newman as Mia Wallace would have been very interesting as well. That's funny, but shut your face. <laughs> I'm not editing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Actually, you know what? I could see. I could see the two of them having the conversation about the five dollars shave. 